Pop piano is the fastest and easiest genre to get playing real songs right away. Now, I hated piano lessons until I figured out the skills I'm about to teach you. And once I did, you couldn't keep me away. So in this video, I'm going to show you the pop progression, how to build a left hand accompaniment, how to play some really cool fills, some chorded versions, and most importantly, how to sound awesome. Pop 101, let's go. All right, if you're going to play pop music, the first thing you need to know are chords. So let's build a chord. I want you to take your right hand thumb and place it on C. C lives below this group of two black keys. You're going to skip over D and play E. You're going to skip over F and play G. And now you have a C chord. All right, if that feels difficult for you, because maybe you're new to the piano, you can get rid of that center note and just play C and G. And you'll notice it's one, two, three, four, five notes apart. There you go. There's your first chord. That sounds great. And this sounds great. But you're going to need more than just one chord to play pop music. So we're going to look at a couple more. I want you to take your hand and we're actually going to move it to G. So C, D, E, F, G. There you go. Same tricks. You're going to use one, skip a note, three, skip a note, and five. Now you've got a G chord. We're also going to need something called A minor. So I want you to move your whole hand up a step. We've got A, C, and E. This chord sounds a little more sad. This is a minor chord. And then we're going to use an F chord. So F is right here. So we can think C, D, E, F. And there's your F chord. So these chords are the foundation of pop music. If we look at the C scale, we can understand how they're chosen. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. These are the notes of the C scale. And these pop chords are built using the first, the fifth, the sixth, and the fourth notes of the scale, which is why it's called the one, five, six, four progression. Now that you know the pop chords, I want to show you that you don't actually have to play them in this order. You can play any of the C's, any of the G's, any of the A's, any of the F's. But for pop music specifically, it's going to sound really good to play C here and then move down to the G and then up one step to the A and then jump down to the F. And that's going to really it's, it's not going to sound too high. It's going to feel really, really, really good. The, the chord changes are pretty close together. You can see A is right after G, and then F is just a skip down from that. So that's how I'm going to be playing them with you now. And we're going to practice this together with a real song. It's going to sound amazing. So get your hands ready on C and just follow me. OK, so we're hearing some drums. We're hearing some rhythm. And if you don't get this right away, it's OK. We'll do this for a little bit. So we're just going to play that C chord. I'm going Hold it. During this a. Time I feel there's no one to say. a minor. Then F. Sounds so good. Again. This all and nothing really got away. It's that simple. Crazy. And if it's feeling difficult to play all I'm three notes, watch. Somebody to hear. Sounds great. Somebody to know. Somebody to have. Somebody one more time through. It's easy to, C, to say, C. but it's never the oh, same. Now, if you want to add some rhythm, watch this. You can do this. Play it play it twice. You know it here. Now, let's play the C chord. Let's do it again. Now, let's play the C chord. Let's do it again. Now, let's play the C chord. Let's do it again. Now, let's play the C chord. Let's do it again. Now, let's play the C chord. Let's do it again. Now, let's play the C chord. Let's do it again. Now, let's play the C chord. Let's do it again. Now, let's play the C chord. All right, next we need to look at our left hand. So there are three left hand options we're going to be looking at today. So the first one is what I just call root notes. So if you're playing a C chord here, you would just play the note C in your left hand. G chord here would be G in your left hand. You're just matching the chords like that. Another thing you can do is a fifth. So play the root note with your five finger, and then you play the fifth above that with your thumb, and you've got that open shape. So if you added the center note, you'd be playing the chord. So you've got these nice open sounds that sound beautiful when you play hands together, like that. And then the third thing I love to do is octaves. So this means you play the root note here, and then you play the same note below it. So it's a bit of a stretch, but it adds this intensity, this richness to your sound. And you can interchange between all three of these options to create a left hand accompaniment that you love. So let's try that again with the music. I'm going to play hands together, but feel free to focus on just your left hand if you want to and pick whichever option feels best for you. So I'm going to start with just the root notes. To keep it simple at the beginning. Here we go. C. 
I'm going on during then this time. I feel there's no one to see. A, then F. Let's do that again. To C. This all and nothing then really D. got away. You're driving me crazy. A minor and F. I need Let's try fifth. Here we go. Somebody to know. Somebody to have. Step. Somebody to have. One more time like that. It's easy to say. But it's never the same. I guess I okay. kinda like Let's the way try you know the pain. It's gonna sound so good on the chorus. Day, please. Boom. It's a night fall. And you know it hears. You get me through it all. I let my gut down. And then you pull the rug. I was getting kinda used to being so young. Then F. We'll pause it there. So you can see with just a simple left hand accompaniment, you get a huge addition to the richness and excitement of the sound that you're creating on the piano. And it's really important to keep that in mind with pop music, it doesn't have to be complicated. Simple is often best. Now, if you want more, you're like, oh, Lisa, I really just wish I could practice more with that track. We've got it inside the piano members area and you can access that for free um, by using the free seven day trial below this video. Now, the next thing is extremely exciting because we're gonna add like a little fill to our chords and it's gonna take you from this to like this. It's one of my favorite little things to add into my playing. So here's what you need to do. If you are playing a C chord, we're gonna be playing around with adding our two finger. So basically what I'm doing is I'm playing around with going from here to here. So if you wanna practice, so you've got your five and then your two, like this. This is the motion. And you can hit your one as well. If you want to, that's a little more challenging. So if you wanna just kind of start these like this. You can do that on all of the chord shapes. If you wanna play it as a more rich sound, you're gonna add your thumb in and you're kind of like rolling through these. It's really tricky at the beginning, so it definitely takes some practice. And you can work your way into this however you like. You can even just go here at the beginning until you're ready to sort of put it all together. So let's try that along with the music again. Focus on whatever you feel best. So if you just wanna look at your right hand and forget your left hand for this step, go for it. But let's practice those little sus rolls right now. So I'm gonna be thinking about pressing down here and here. All right. I'm going on during this time. I feel there's no one to save me. You can add that bottom note in if you want. This all and nothing really got away. You're driving me crazy. And I'm playing them kind of slowly. I need you can somebody do this. to hear, Quick. somebody to know. Somebody Forgot I was doing for a second there. <laughs> somebody to hold. It's, and it's easy up to, to say, you how you want to put these together. Say, I guess I kind of like the way you know, do the pain. You know and you don't have to do this every place. time. Fall, and you know it hits, you get me through it's it kind all. of where it feels I natural. Down, and then you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being so that's one option for adding just a little bit of a fill into your playing that makes you sound really, really, really fancy. So definitely have some fun with that and see where you want to take it. Don't do it on every single chord. Less is still more, but you can do that as you practice so you can get it really under your fingers. It's time, friends. It's time to look at inversions. And this is such an important part of pop piano. So Inversions means, so if you look at your chord, we're playing C, E, and G, you don't have to play those notes in that order. You just have to play those notes. So we can invert the chord and we could play E, G, and C, or we could play G, C, and E. And it sounds amazing. So here's what I wanna practice with you for the sake of this song. So I want you to play your C chord like this in second inversion. So I've got G, C, and E. Then we're gonna play our G chord in second inversion. So my third finger is gonna to go to the G, thumb goes to D and five goes to B. And then to get to A minor, the whole party just goes arch, up a step. And then to get to a second inversion F chord, you're gonna take your third finger and you're gonna place it on F and you've got C, F and A. So let's get the music, let's get Lewis here for us and we'll play along with him and you'll hear it. 
All right, so we're gonna have G, C, and E. I'm gonna get my left hand ready to play together. Okay. I'm going on during this time. I feel there's no one to save me. My left hand is still playing the note that matches the chord name. This old and nothing really got away. Do this a couple times crazy. so you can get the feel of it. Same I chords, different sounds. Here, somebody to know, somebody to have. We're gonna add a little rhythm. It's easy like to say, but it's never the same. I guess I kind of like the way you know do the pain Like that the day bleeds Boom. into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all I let my One more time. down And then you pull the rug I was getting kind of used to being so Amazing. Now, I had like a little secret plan for choosing those specific inversions to show you in this lesson. If you go back to those and you take out the middle note, what? And then you move the shape again, take out the middle note, and then step it up. It's the same shape, you're just canceling out that middle chord tone. You're playing the intro to the song. So we're just taking two notes from the chord, we're playing them in a bit of a pattern, and suddenly we've got this iconic poppy sound that Lewis is using in this song. So let's just, let's just try playing along with Lewis again. I'm gonna do that pattern, I'd love for you to join me, so we'll go through it a few times just like this, and we'll have some fun. All right, so I'm gonna be moving from top to the bottom, and it's gonna feel kind of quick. I'm going on during this time, I feel there's no one to save me But it's so pretty This all and nothing really got away, you're driving me crazy I need somebody to hear, somebody to know Somebody to have, somebody to hold It's easy to say, but it's never the same You can see just where you can go with this. Now, I know this is a 101 lesson, so we're, there's, there's so much more, but we're gonna stop it there because that's a lot to take in. Now remember, these things do take practice. So if you were struggling to follow along in this video, that's a good thing. It means you have an opportunity to grow and learn and develop. So take your time, practice all of the steps. Inside the members area, we have all the practice steps broken down for you so you'll know exactly what to do and how to practice them. Go have fun. Please leave a comment and let me know what your favorite pop song is. If you have any questions, I love hearing from you. All right, happy practicing.